This is Eric Mod with Mother.com with another quick educational video. In this video, we're going to be using the Nifty charts to take a look at the comparison between the time frames. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the big time frame, which is suggesting that the Nifty continues to be strong because the monthly RSI is still holding above that bullish momentum area of 69.1. So we have a big picture, long term monthly charts looking good. But I'm going to show you that this is not true currently if you take a look at the weekly and the daily for the most part, even the four hourly. They are all pointing down. And so we're going to take and use this current chart situation to study the power between long term chart levels, long term monthly charts, long term time frames versus small time frames. So here we can see the monthly has been bullish since the RSI jumped above 69.1 in February. Net net, the Nifty has been going to all time highs in this time frame while trading above 69.1. Now, as long as the monthly is above 69.1, the conclusion here is that yes, you can get pullbacks. They'll be shallow, but ultimately the market should continue being stable to bullish unless the small time frame generate enough energy to push the monthly RSI back below 69.1. Now, so the monthly is good. If we take a look at the weekly as of this very moment, and this is after Monday's close, we can see for now, depending on how the rest of the week shapes up, this is looking like RSI 69.1 double top rejection and if that's the case then it is starting to look like the weekly is suggesting the probability of a pullback situation understanding very well that if there's going to be a big sell-off it's going to have to come after the break of the rsi lows line on the weekly so the line connecting rsi lows from early 2020 and this double bottom period here would have to be broken first and foremost before we can get any big slide down. Remember, this is after Monday's close. So by, by the end of the week, if the RSI is still back above 69.1, then the weekly chart would be, in a sense, mirroring the bullish monthly chart. So very early on in the week, but as long as this continues to be the case with a double top, rejection as of this moment this is suggesting that the weekly is turning down and there should be some pri price downward movement another way to arrive at the same conclusion is to figure out where we had a pullback situation recently and this is based on this break here of March highs So we take that break of the RSI extended as such. And even here, we are seeing early signs that this could end up being a double top rejection on the red line. If that's the case, then that again would be suggestive of a market that is looking to go down, confirm double top RSI status, and for prices to drift lower. So that is the weekly we take a look at the daily we can see the daily having recorded a fresh intraday high here recently intraday high but take a look at your rsi your rsi is making a lower high and so that negative divergence again could suggest that there's a pullback here also for there to be a true sell-off this is going to take out some energy to break this current bullish momentum because this RSI lows line would have to be broken first and foremost before we can see a major slide. It's another way of saying that pullbacks can be shallow in this phase as long as you are holding above the red line. And of course, this red line corresponds to all the lows since late 2020. Again, this being the daily. So the daily is showing signs of negative divergence, which could set the stage for a pullback. 
Now, if we take a look at the four hourly, we see yet the same negative divergence. Intraday highs there. Take a look at your RSI. Your RSI barely got above 60, so the RSI stayed below 61.8 on the four hourly as you made these intraday highs here. That type of negative divergence tends to be the strongest as per my research. So at this point, we are looking for a pullback based on the four hourly, neglecting the bullish monthly time frame. Things are pointing down based on this four hourly chart with the understanding that there's always the opportunity to clear this negative divergence line and for prices to move higher. Again, here also we see, and we need to understand that don't expect any type of a strong push down until recent RSI lows line is broken. So from this time frames, we've seen that the monthly chart is strong while we have the weekly, the daily, and the four hourly, suggesting that the next meaningful short-term direction is down. And also we understand that as long as the monthly is above 69.1, pullbacks are going to be shallow and the market is going to bounce ultimately. Otherwise, if the monthly drops back below 69.1, confirming what the weekly, daily and four hourly are saying, then in that type of situation where the RSI on the monthly drops below 69.1, we can see that these short-term charts are going to be actually pointing down. And if the RSI on the monthly drops below 69.1, all the daily, all the weekly, and all the four hourly RSI lows line are going to be broken on the trip downwards. Remember, whenever there's confusion between the big, the big and the small time frame, the small time frame loses to the big time frame in other words the big time frame is always more controlling and has the biggest influence in the overall trend of any instrument's journey and so it is eric moad with love light like love namaste